It's like, well, the highest form of anything is sainthood. A marvelous thief like Villain or Jeanette, they were saints because they raised thievery to its highest state of grace. Old George Carter, black and beat to shit on some dock singing Rising River Blues, he was one. He sang like an old broke down music box. Some say Jesse James was one, and me. I dream of being one, but I can't. I mean, I can't be the saint people dream of now. People want a street angel. They want a saint, but with a cowboy mouth. Somebody to get off on when they can't get off on themselves. I think that's what Mick Jagger's trying to do. What Bob Dylan seemed to be for a while. A sort of God in our image, you know? Mick Jagger came close, but he got too conscious. For a while he gave me hope, but he misses. He's not whole. Hey, Slim, am I losing you? I mean, just tell me if I'm getting draggy. It's just hard, and it's real important. I, I want to be perfect, because it's the only religion I got. It's like, well, in the old days, people had Jesus and those guys to embrace. They created a god with all their belief energies, and when they didn't dig themselves, they could lose themselves in the Lord. But it's too hard now. We're earthy people, and the old saints just don't make it, and the old god is just too far away. He don't represent our pain no more. His words don't shake through us no more. Any great motherfucker rock and roll song can raise me higher than all of Revelations. We created rock and roll from our own image. It's our child. A child that's got a burst in the mouth of a savior. Mick Jagger would love to be that savior, but it ain't him. It's like the rock and roll star in his highest state of grace will be the new savior, rocking to Bethlehem to be born. You know what I mean, Slim? <laughs>